Hey there everybody, my name is Bear and I just want to provide you with this quick little tutorial demonstration video of how you can create and edit your own custom lines of string text within Spelunky. I know I've uh, had a few people asking me about this, I tweeted a little summary of how to do it yourselves, but I figured I'd provide you guys with this little visual aid for it as well because it's really very easy to do and just provides so much silly everlasting fun with the game itself. Just forever you'll be entertained by this. So here we go. First and foremost, what you need to do is download Notepad++ from this website. It is notepad-plus.org, and I'll include the link to that in the description. This is the trustworthy site that you see here. This is the one you want to get to. I swear to you guys, this isn't going to damage your computer in any way, shape, or form. It's open source software that's totally free to download, and uh, you don't need to worry about it at all. So get this. This is the one you want to use. Do not use regular Notepad, because if you do, you'll create string line errors and you'll not want that to happen so just trust me do this next once you have downloaded notepad plus plus all you'll have to do is navigate to the steam steam apps comments Spelunky data localization folder that I've actually visually uh, laid out for you guys here as well you can see it up at the top of your screen you can also see that I've uh, navigated there myself within my own folders and you'll find inside of the localization folder the four uh, language files along with the strings.pct file. That's the one you're looking for and that's the one you want to be editing. So once you get here, all you'll have to do is right click this and click edit with Notepad++. You'll have that option available to you as soon as you've downloaded and installed Notepad++. It's very easy to do and uh, all you have to do is click that and then it'll open up into the Notepad... Notepad? <laughs> Notepad! It's a very stylish editor. Uh, Notepad++ editing screen which looks a bit like this. And once you've done that, all you gotta do is edit the string lines accordingly. You can see here that I've made a little edit to the deathmatch description. This would be fun if I had any friends and I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like. Along with all the other ones that I've made that I'm sure you guys have seen in previous videos, but you know, just to make it easy for you. And uh, as far as these go, they're really very self-explanatory. I mean, you can see here that these are all the intro sequences. It randomly selects, I think, from the groups of eight for the three lines that you see as the little spelunker is walking across the desert into a certain demise. You can edit all the tutorial sections. You can edit everything in the main menu like I was showing you earlier. Everything all the way down to all these different shopkeeper messages. You see that I've got some custom ones for a few of my buddies here. we got Fist Snaps Bakery and Omewrecker's Wheel of Lies because he's a liar. And a whole bunch of other stuff too, it's a bunch of fun. Uh, you can edit as far down as what the tall man says when you need to get him uh, some shortcut stuff and just basically everything that you could possibly think of including the level text and all of it. It's all available to edit and it's very simple. All you have to do is change this like so. You just gotta highlight what he's saying. So for example, this is one of the things that the uh, Tunnel Man will, will ask you when he's looking for items, so you can say something like, Yo dog, I needs me some ropes for real. And it's just that easy. If you do that and you save the text and then you close it, and uh, or rather close Spelunky and open it again, you'll be able to see that it indeed works like that. So I've done, uh, I've done the troublesome work of doing that. I've already done that, so I can open up Spelunky right now, and I can show you guys that if I go to my play green, bleh, play green, play game screen, uh, it's already edited for me. So I have my custom line of string text here. I also have uh, the deathmatch one, which we just showed you I had edited previously. So there you go. The full summary of how to edit your own custom string lines within Spelunky. Hope it uh, hope it provides a little bit more enjoyment as it has for me for you guys. And I'll see you in the next Spelunky slash other video. Take care, and I love you.